Skomer Island, home to hundreds of species, but I'm on the search for a very particular breed of bird. Come with me on my first ever journey to try and find a puffin. We start our journey in South Wales, in a location called Martins Haven, waiting to board our ferry across to the island. We keep our eyes peeled, trying to find that first glimpse of the orange beak. And there it was, my first sight of a puffin. As we arrive on Scomer Island, we are already surrounded by wildlife. We start making a way over to the wick. At this location, you're most likely to spot the puffins. I get my tripod and camera set up and start snapping away, trying to find what seems to be very few puffins. Despite there being a very small number of puffins on the island, I still managed to capture some great shots. After this, the rain started to pour down and the puffins started to hide away, so we started making our way around the island. We took this opportunity to explore the island even more, check out its field of bluebells, rocky landscapes and delve into the other species that can be found on the island. The weather on the island was only getting worse, and the wildlife was starting to creep away. Our boat was coming back to collect us, and on our wet journey back, I had some time to reflect on our journey. What I find in Skoma is there's so much more than what meets the eye. Puffins aren't the only species to explore on this island. Skoma is filled with tons of sea life, plants and birds to explore on this gem of an island. <laughs> 